welcome back to golden heart show and we've been talking with the executive director of youth advocate for sustainable development the person of mr ayo at the bola sir we've been talking and since you've been mentioning the girl child especially education and uh, i believe that you you have done more on that particular area so can you share with us the impact of the organization that you've made so far? I like girl child so much that I was even asking God to keep giving me girl child, girl child, girl child. <laughs> Do you know why? At the end of the day, do you know that girl child take care of the parents more when they get to? Yes, of course. Well, of people course. don't know that. <laughs> and you start making your money when when it's time when they start paying bright price. Ah, you start making your money. Investment. <laughs> Yeah, that's that. That's a great well, thing. People, people don't know. But the concern is the reason why we are doing more of girls' education, more of girls' things, even in my company, they are complaining. Should the, should the boys die? No, they should not die. <laughs> my daughter brought the idea. She was going to school that day. She, she schools at Amity Children's School. Mm. She was going to now saw some girls walking this and what's it called? Is he a wara? Yeah, he's a wara. Mm. And I said, Daddy. Look at how girls are not going to school. Look, look at boys are going to school. I said, boys are not going to school too. I took her to a, a, a mechanic function. Look at boys. <laughs> so because she wants girls to go to school. Yes. And she has been working with me since when she was 10. All my work that I do with organizations. She was under doing my retirement, my report and everything. She was under. Anytime I have an attendance, anything to tidy, she was under studying there. So she got to know something. Anytime I'm going for an event because I'm a World Bank Youth Forum member. So she has been she has been a member of World Bank Youth Forum since she was a child. Because I always take her for the meetings. So she normally hear what people were saying, what you put the adult are saying, are saying. She brings them together with what she's saying. She said, like, let's do something about skills education. And I will launch a project, all girls must go to school. So far, so good. We have many girls in school now. Girls in secondary school should be around, around, around 16, 17 girls in secondary school, currently by the grace of God. Mm. That we are paying their school fees with the help of friends like you, which you will still enjoy from today. And you know, <laughs> still enjoy from today. Okay. We have 15, 17 girls in secondary school. We have 70 children, but 37 will be dropped by next week. Why? Because the fund that's the person that is paying the money said she cannot pay more for those children. But we are still looking at how we can factor it out. We have 70 children die in primary school. We have 17 girls in secondary school. So because we want girls to go to school, we have 30 women that have been empowered. Just want to see that because when my daughter used to say one thing, and she also said it in London, she says if you educate a boy child, you educate. But we educate a woman, we educate the whole nation because a woman will get married and give birth to a child. She will leave her family and go and join another family, which is his own family, and try to make sure whatever she has learned at home, she will bring it to that family. But a guy will just, well, I forget, on my own. I mean, I mean, I mean, do you understand? So that I, I always follow what she said, and I see that, and I've seen all, several girls that have worked with you. Look at me now, my. Volunteers, they are mostly girls. How they have lost three or four boys, including me. A lot of us are young people. They are mostly girls. And when a girl wants to do something, she wants to do it not because she is being paid. She wants to do it because it's a girl like her that will benefit. Yeah. When you take a girl child to an event, yeah, where they are talking about girls, they do it passionately. Yeah. So that was good. Yes, let's focus on girls. We have done several projects, even adolescent and young women HIV prevention programs. We did it for girls. Mm. So many things we are doing for girls, but we're also doing things for boys as well. Don't think we're just girls, 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 things. <laughs> but we prefer to do things for them. Because when a girl become somebody. Look at all those women that I get. Look at all the women that are holding position in the world. Look at their lifestyle. Look at their relations. Look at their records. If you want to steal it, all my partners are mostly women, if you find out. Mm. All my partners are mostly women because I prefer dealing with them. Because they are they do things with passion. They know they don't they do things right. Not because they want to do it. They do it because it is the right thing to be done. That is why I'm working with women as I like girls' things. Okay. So, uh, apart from this um, organization, is there any other thing you do? The only thing I do, the only thing I know how to do is organization work. 
I have been a volunteer. I'm a chief volunteer. Even though I'm a volunteer for Youth of Africa as well. Even the coordinator. I'm a chief volunteer since when I was born. Even my family, my home, is a home of volunteerism. But what I want to do currently, which I have started working on, is to have a small business, a microfinance, a entrepreneurial okay. business. Okay. Rather than I want to start doing, I want to do now. Okay. It's my next plan because I've done Uber before and taxi. But I'm a good driver. I can drive. It's so that are, uh, that are, we like a starter. We may not get job. What else can you do to even sustain the organization? So I choose to start doing taxi. So when I was doing Abuja Color, I changed. When I went to doing Uber and taxi, I changed to Uber and taxi. I overwork myself. Do you understand? My primary, my primary in my life, my life is to ensure that I can make impact. Let me not lie to you. I'm contesting for president very soon. Wow. So my I want to make impact. My mind is just to my mind is structured to make impact. I think that I'm making that impact. Mm. So taxify and taxi work is one that is helping me. So my time is more like in sixty seconds, in sixty minutes, forty minutes of my organization. Unless you but unless there is nothing like today we have been at home, let's say we have been at home all through. Okay, so we went to a community. So unless there's nothing to do for the organization, I'll not face taxi fare. I will not face my taxi work, my driving work. But there's nothing to do at home. So there's nothing to do for the organization. Inside one hour, I'll give 40 minutes to the organization. Mm-hmm. Use 20 for the other one. Because that is my life. Do you have anybody that you look up to like a mentor? <laughs> my boss. I have them so many. I have them so many. But one of them is he said a lot of things to me. Uh, when I get to him, I'll just laugh and say, ah. He always challenged me anytime we have an issue. His name is Rotimi Olawale, executive director youth of Africa. That is my boss. Most of the thing I'm doing now, most of the thing I'm doing as an organization, I learned them from him. Most of the thing I'm doing, I learn them from me. Even I'm, I'm even trying to learn his working step myself because like his working step brings money. <laughs> wow, that's a great one. He's a dedicated somebody that give all his time to whatever he's doing, mm. and he has time for you when you are starting. Mm. He has time for you. He will call you. He's always angry that I'm not registered my car something tomorrow. He's always angry. He's always asking questions. He's always want me to grow. But there are many of them that are pushing me. If I stand in me, then you will not go from there. Look at Amzad Lawad. Look at Tokwe Fashola. Look at... There are just many of them. They are pushing me. It's good to know that they, you have... Well, you have people that around you that are pushing you. People that you can look up to when you need something. Yes. Okay, so... um. I I am aware of a project that is ongoing now, so please can you enlighten us more about it? Yeah. Currently now we are doing a second edition of quiz competition in Wado community. The goal and the aim of it is to ensure is to promote reading habit and competition among puppies in Wado community. Mm-hmm. So they can compete outside Wado. So they can have challenge, they can have vibe because my son is schooling in Wado. So if there is no competition, what is he expecting? We want, we want to plan something that if education is fine in this country, let me tell you why I'm passionate about education. Why, 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 why is because I'm so daft. It took me time to know how to read. Mm. It's, a, it's so annoying that I got to polytechnic if I can start spelling some things. Mm. It's so annoying that it was after when also don't start. Mm. That's what I say I know how to read. Even till now, I say I'm not even that good at that. I'm not, I'm not even that good. Even till now, thank God for the child I have and these children I have. Even till now. So I don't want my son to be like me. I don't want children to be like me. When they should start reading, they should start reading. But when you read, Whatever idea you have, you yeah. can cost. I should be a billionaire by now, because if it is by us. Because I don't know how to put pen into paper. Mm. 
that was why I'm I'm still where I am now. Mm. So, so I, you saw I, the need. Saw the need. I saw the need and I'm taking the lead. Yes. I saw the need and I'm taking the that I want to promote competition where children will be fighting in school. That I want to be the next child that will go. Mm -hmm. I want to be the next child that will go. Mm -hmm. I don't making this in every in every an edition. Even what we're doing in, in this year, we might do two. That's what we will do next in this year to ensure that bring three school, bring three school, bring three school. Let them compete together. And let's so with that one now come in our room they call it village. We are villagers. But we can come to town and compete with those people in the city. Mm. And they will not be they will be shocked. Are you sure these people are from the village? Mm. That is what that is what this project, this quiz competition is all about. We won't give it a name. Just give it quiz competition. I know as time goes on, when everybody see what we are trying to do, they want to ensure that this thing continues. Because they are I know they are, I know we have too many people. That are passionate about education, that wants children to go to school, they mm. want school to be a better place. Because we cannot keep it to our government. We have to do something. Mm -hmm. That is why we are doing what we are doing. Okay, so um, right now I believe that um, there are needs for this project. What are those needs? What? Ah. Yeah. When you ask me this kind of question, <laughs> hey, I'm very happy. <laughs> the project. So far, so good. We, what we need to make sure this project happen is banner, refreshment, textbooks, notebooks, mathematical set, projector, generator, public address system, TV and radio media, and transport for volunteers. But so far, but what well, is well, well, going to happen if this did not come? It's going to happen. But so far, I've gotten only little money for the refreshment. <laughs> Thank God for that. But it's little, we still want more because no, we are looking at 100 people to be there. We have got a mathematical set. Mm -hmm. We have got a projector. Mm -hmm. These are what we have gotten so far. We, still, we even need scholarship for the first position. But we are looking at factoring that first position to our All Girls Must Go to School project. That will be the price. That's what we are hoping. We can factor it to our circle, our all girls must go to school project. But still, you'll be getting notebooks from us. Thank you very much. Yeah. So we're getting notebooks. So notebook is that. So we still need we still need generator PA system. So we, we need refreshment. We still need generator PA system refreshment. Banner. What else? Banner and um, TV and radio TV. media. Radio media. So please, you can actually please contact them or contact us so that. You can reach out to them. The event is when? 27th, 27th. of May to yeah. mark the Children's Day. Children's Day, 27th of May 2019. <laughs> <laughs> That's next week. Yeah. That's next week or uh, a week. Okay. Um, so, um, okay, can you give us your um, contacts that people can reach you? Like I said, we are still growing. We've not gotten the website here, but it's on the way. They are doing it. Okay. It's on. It's on. They are doing it. But you can reach us on our email is yasdyouth at gmail dot com. Okay. Our Facebook is yasdyouth at Facebook. Mm. Just type when you type yasdyouth on Facebook, you will see us. And on Facebook, you see most of our project. All our that we have done, you see, then shot not even all most because we see our son have not uploaded because we don't have so we don't have computer with our phones. <laughs> so you will see that there. Our Twitter handle is at yazdyut1 at yazdyut1 on Twitter, likewise on Instagram at yazdyut1 on Instagram. Our full number that you will reach the organization, the, the numbers are displayed on the screen, and the numbers are our WhatsApp number and phone calls. Okay. That is how you can reach us. So please reach out to them. Just do something today. Put a smile on someone's face, on like I always face. say, on the children's face, because it's going to be their children's day, yes. the seventh May, two thousand and nineteen. So do something and be fast about it. Time waits for nobody. I'll be waiting for your call and for your assistance. And so, um, coming to the end of today's uh, show, you. Please, can you tell us the future plans you have for your organization? And then, our pro the organization, my plan is the organization should be one of the among the leading youth organization that has made impact. 
and I will still be making impact. And again, our plan again is our, our projects that are coming that we have in the bust that we are looking for support to come. Community health insurance down is to ensure that people in the community get health insurance. No, you, you people in town, people do NHIS <laughs> and you are going to hospital anyhow. Mm -hmm. But people in the community, they don't do NHIS and or, Going to the hospital is being difficult. So mm. we have community health insurance that we are planning on. We have um we have a project called a girl child can be trusted. Now as a serious project that will go to visit the community and let the parents know how girl child can be trusted. We want to even do a peer session where parents a fathers will be the peer educators. So they'll be educating themselves about how you can trust your girl child. We are we are doing we're also doing peace talk. Peace talk is what we are doing. That we have, our plan is to visit seven hundred communities in Nigeria. Wow! We have I've visited like twenty eight now. We will be we'll, we'll talking. We we'll bring out the young people and let them know the importance of young people mm. in making sure peace mm. is in their community. Because if the young people refuse peace in their community, nobody can stop it. What you bring the what you bring ammo tank, you buy an Nigeria army, the whole weapon. If the young people in that community are they don't embrace peace to not stop. So we are trying to go to communities and ensure that young people know the importance and how they can embrace, how they can play a role in bringing about peace in their community. And we have education tour where my my daughter will be visiting different different state governor, state government and three schools in states to talk about girls' education and the importance of girls' education mm -hmm. and to see how the UBE Act can be can go in the community, well. implemented in their communities. Okay. Wow, that's a great one. What advice do you have to people out there? Just people that want to start something like you just started, but don't know how to go about it. What what advice do you have for them? Do you, you see, you see, don't say people are already on this. Don't say people are already doing this. If you have an idea that you think, that you think this thing will be better, join us. Don't be limited by money. Don't be scared that you don't have money. Even only your idea can make that solution that you think we need. Come on board. Forget. No matter it's better the more the merrier. Because the more we are, people are going back, the challenges will be getting more. And as this country is now, we are having more populations. When we have so many people doing if you have so many people washing plates, they will wash a plate on time. But we have to see people watching that play to, to take time. And don't be discouraged. Bros, auntie, no fear. I'll go get our pass. When is your time? Your time will come. When you have it in mind that you want to do this thing genuinely, just for the cause and the space that you have seen. If that is the reason you want to do this thing, definitely you will excel. People have excelled. People have done it. People that have done it, I know them. Those are, they, are, they are my move, they are my driving force. Which we can also be part of us. So all of us can do it together. Well, that is a great one, Jen. Uh, you've heard it all from the horse's mouth. If he can do it, you also can do it. So let's come together and make it work. And work fast. And that's where we'll come to the end of today's program. Thank you, Mr. Ayo, for coming and Ms. Sorry, my Bashira. name is Bashira. I'm sorry for forgetting your name for coming. Okay, you're welcome. Thank Thank you. you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Hope to see you more often again. Um, it's, it has been a great time. We also want to encourage you, please, if you have anything, anything at all, you've heard what they want, they need... Um, they need refreshment, they need banners, they need media, they need um, radio, TV, media. They, they need a lot, a lot for this project. Please reach out to them. The number's showing on your screen now. You can actually call us to reach out to them and we will definitely give you their contact and what you can actually help them out with. So please do yourself this favor. By reaching out to them today so that's where we'll come to the end of today's show you can also reach us on our facebook social media platform showing right now on the screen do not forget that when you put a smile on someone's face you also will be smiling until i come your way next time be good bye